because uh, we looked at emerging markets and we looked at the large, the big markets, so that where it's uh, outdoors established in the U.S. and Europe. When we started to look at like China and um, you know some uh, developing countries, like it just is really it's 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 not very big and it's not very understood by a lot of in terms of outdoor activities. So there was a lot of opportunity there, and then a lot of um, opportunity in the developed and an opportunity in places like China. And the, the interesting thing about China at the time, and the reason I mention it is because you know it relates back to what we're seeing with recessionary times is. You go to China and um, people would, in China, and I think it's still true to some extent, is they look at the outdoors as um, a place to rejuvenate, right? So like being with nature and um, trying to trying to like get a break from the craziness of what was, was and still is happening in China, which is urbanization on a massive scale, um, you know, big income disparity, not, not unlike our times here right now. And... Um, and also, uh, you know, there's big cultural differences, like this whole idea in China of taking risks. You know, like, wh why would you go take a rope and climb up a mountain and risk your family? Like, that's just not something that you would do. So it was just a different mentality than the Western view of it. But the fundamental thing that was the same was escape, right? People are just trying to get out. And we'd ask people in China, like, what, what's the outdoors mean to you? Show us a picture. And again and again, we'd have people hold up a picture of like the open road. So it'd be like a, you know, like looking at the car, a car window at the open expanse of land. And it was, when you think about it, it's sort of like the sixties in, in the U S right. When people were same thing, just wanted to get on the road, get out of the kind of confinements of society. And so I think what we're seeing right now is uh, a moment where people are feeling that same thing. Confinement on a literal sense, they're in their houses. And so you're starting to see um, the explosion of people, you know, all the RVs are getting bought up, all the sprinter vans are getting bought up. Uh, I think it's really tough to buy a boat right now because it's a thing that you can just get out and be with friends and, and be on it. So, so I think this, this is um, where, the expansion of outdoors and people participating was a very long road. I actually think this is going to accelerate it in a different way. And I